The Portland Public School Board was trying to pull a fast one. The board was set to extend the superintendent's contract before a brand new board took office. Now parents are demanding answers. Chris Holmstrom is asking the tough questions. He joins us live. Yeah, Dan and Jennifer, the main reason why people were upset was because they just voted for four new board members back in May. As you mentioned, they're scheduled to start in July, and they feel that any new contract should go through them. The outrage started on social media. Parents infuriated by tonight's agenda item. New and current board members also showing their frustration. Well, my concern is that the board, which four of whom are not even going to be there anymore, were extending the superintendent's contract for another year, which was actually three years down the road. Board member Steve Buell is one of the remaining members sticking around come July. He's against the contract extension and tells me just this afternoon he got an email from board member and co-chair Ruth Adkins. In short, it says Superintendent Smith wanted to pull the contract extension from the agenda based on concerns that people were having. I took these concerns straight to Adkins. Why was the proposed contract on the agenda for tonight when you have the new board members starting next month? Sure. Again, um, us to um, extend the superintendent's contract by a year in conjunction with a really strong evaluation is our way as a board of saying, we have a really strong evaluation for you. You've done a really great job in our estimation and in recognition of the value you're bringing to the district. We want to extend that contract. Adkins says the board votes on extensions every year, but she admits the timing has shifted from time to time. She also wants people to know that even if the current board voted on an extension, a new board can make changes. But the really important thing to understand is that the terms of the contract are such that it in no way hamstrings a new board's ability to go in a different direction if they choose to do that. Regardless of the change of heart, board member Buell says this decision is for the best. We just, after the 28% raise, we just don't need more problems around the superintendent's contract. And so I think the superintendent made a really smart decision. And tonight, the school board will only vote on the superintendent's evaluation. I found out this does not include any sort of contract extension or pay raise. Reporting live from Portland Public Schools, I'm Chris Holmstrom for Coin 6 News. Now you can sure see why people were concerned about that. Thank you, sir.